Hello everyone, today I'm going to start a new series on how to use the animal controller from scratch with any animal from the store. But I'll be using the Polyar Raccoon from my forest set to show you the most of the features that the animal controller has since this little guy here it has almost like a hundred animations so let's get started. Here. I already have imported the animal controller and the raccoon to my project and I have a simple plane with the camera and a direction light so let's find the model for the raccoon and drag it into the scene and I'm going to change the layer to animal you can change to anything you want but the default layer since we are going to use that layer for the ground on the animal component another thing we need to do is to use cinemachine cameras to follow the player since that rigging for the camera is the one that i use for the animal controller so you can either type here cinemachine cm and find the prefabs or you can go to malverse animations common Cinemachine and find the camera brain and the virtual camera free look main and drag those to the scene. Let's remove the default camera and let me disable the 3D gizmos. And now, here on the raccoon, I'm going to unpack it completely so I can work better with the animal and I'm going to go to add components, mothers, animal controller and I'm going to add the animal component and here you will see that we already have a rigid body and we have the component now what do we need to do first? we need to set the pivots which are these gizmos right here to the correct positions so in general go to pivots and here on the editor I'm going to set it here which is this is the hip it should be right between the back legs and the chest we're going to do the same and set it in the front legs of the animal let me disable the editor gizmos and let's set those two pivots at the same height which will be the same wide value and they are right here you can change the color of the pivots by clicking on the context menu right here let me copy and paste and let's change it back to position and this one right here will be for the water pivot this pivot will be used later but let's set it in the center of the spine of the animal now the next step is to add an animator controller now let's create a new animator controller that it will be used for the raccoon let's call it raccoon animal controller and we are going to use it here on the animator now on the advanced tab let's create the required animators parameters for the animator let's click right here and they'll be created automatically and now for the new animal controller 1.3 and up we're going to use the state on and the mode on triggers that will be used to improve the communication from the animator to the animal controller let me create a new folder for all the assets for the animal let's call it raccoon and let's drag the animator right here and for the raccoon we are going to create the first state which is the idle and this will be created here on the asset folder let's move it to the folder we have already created and let's rename it raccoon idle all animal state assets will use the same name your animal has so how the animal controller works the animal uses states mode and stance to move but let's start with states states are animations that cannot be 
overriding each other. For example, you cannot jump and swim at the same time or you, you cannot run and fly at the same time. So now that we have the state, we need to create a substate machine on the animator. Let's call it idle. And we need to create a transition from any state to this idle substate machine. So right click to any state and make transition to idle. And here on the conditions, we are going to need the state on and the state. Add a new condition and state on need to be triggered and state need to be equal to zero. Why zero? Zero is the ID for the idle state and the ID zero. This ID is this value right here. And let's rename this to idle. And now inside of this substate machine, we're going to create our first animation. And let's find on the raccoon folder all the animations. And here are the idols. And let's drag Rydal01 to the scene. Let's call it idol1. And we need to use the tag idle since it's required for the animal controller to recognize which animation is playing. And now if we hit play, you will see that the raccoon is idling. As you can see, the raccoon moved forward, so we need to set the root bone Z value to zero. And let's fix again on the animal the position of the pivots. Right here. Perfect. If we hit play, the animal should stay in the same place. Now, in case of the idle states, we can have several animations that we can play. So, in the raccoon, I have an idle, an idle scratch, an idle look right, idle look left, and so on. So, first I'm going to create an exit transition for the idle animation. And also I'm going to create from entry another transition to the idle animation. I'm doing this because I want to play random idle animations but we don't have the random parameter on the animator. Here on the advanced panel we can find the optional animator parameters and we can add the random parameter. Now back on the animator let's select the entry transitions and the condition I'm going to add is random equal to zero. Now I'm going to select the transitions and the animation state and I'm going to duplicate it five times since I already have five idle animations. Do this if you only have more than one idle animation. And if random is equal to two, I'm going to play this one. This is equal to three. I'm going to play this one and so on. Let me change the animation to idle look left and drag it right here idle look right and drag it right here and let's repeat the process for the other animations now idle is the only animation that needs a transition to itself that way I can use the random behavior to play the five animations. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So here I'm going to set the range to five. Remember to check that all of them have the tag idle. So if I hit play, the raccoon will play random animations. You see the random parameters changing right here. And the animal is doing all the random idle animations. And just like that, we have finished the idle state. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the locomotion state.